I want to show you this next project I'm doing. I try not to use AC. I'm off grid and man off grid. And using your cellar bank it, bank it, it's just not going to work very good. And I'm not going to spend a fortune just to have the AC running. I use a generator, but I'm still working on the cabin. Still got projects going on. So one of the projects I want to do is another screen door. And a screen door will help keep the cabin cool. I got the windows open. Got sun shades. You can see the fan. It's running right now. So what I'm going to do, this screen door, let me move it real quick and kind of help you visualize it. So I cheat. What I do is I frame this out. And it frames out around here. And what I'm using are these furring strips. I build the door frame out. Let me show you what a finished product looks like. Let's go for a walk. So you think about it for a minute. You can buy a screen door on a normal house that just goes right in, right? Well, this isn't a normal house. This is actually a tool shed. So you think about it. It's a tool shed that got converted over to a tiny home cabin. So here's what one looks like. See how it fits right in there? And those are the furry strips. You can see where they had it, and then I come out and build it out. Use the hinges. You can buy. You can find a hinge kit in the hardware section. It comes with a spring, a handle. I put another handle. You can see here on the inside, so you can close it shut. The bad part about these wood doors is uh in the south humidity really makes them swell and shrink and so sometimes it'll be a tight fit and that's why i like the handle on the inside so then when i'm done i'll just paint it white so uh, the door here is covered by the ceiling eventually that deck out there will have a roof over it but in the meantime i'm going to cover it up with some poly and it'll be uh, latex based that way i don't have the fumes killing so uh, we're going to go on and I'm going to get the tools out and start cutting some boards and I'll just keep uh, turning the camera off and on and while I work and just show you the progress. And the screen door is very handy to have. Another thing that I do is I put this metal on the bottom for the dogs. That way they don't get excited and just run right through it. So, uh, and you're probably wondering what this is about. It keeps popping up the camera. I put these baskets up and it emulates a hornet's nest, and that way the carpenter bees stay away, and it, things work pretty good, man. So, uh, let's go on the next one. I gotta go dig some tools out. So, uh, take care of them. See you in a bit. So, here we are again. So, one of the things I do, I get two screwdrivers, and I stick it under. That way I've got enough swing for the door, and then I'll get a board. Let's do this. And I'll bring it up and I'll mark it against the door to this trim piece. And basically done after that. All I gotta do is nail it up, start putting it up. So uh, that'll be the next step. And uh, pretty simple. The screwdriver will keep you from screwing yourself. So you see the door frame. Here's a really bad assumption. Assume. That these things are square, right? They're not. I don't know if the camera picked that up. That is not level. And this door is sitting level. And you see that gap? If you try to match everything up, you'd be you'd have a drinking problem. So this will take care of your drinking problem. Bring that board over and it fills that gap in. See what you did there? Ta-da! Nice little trick. You don't wind up killing yourself over here. So uh, I'm going to start nailing some boards up. Take care. All right, so the next step, I got the handle on here. Got the other handle, and I put the spring on. But I'm not done. It's closing good. I'll adjust this a little bit. I'll adjust this a little bit through here. But something I'll do, I will not use nails. I mean, I will just for finishing, but I'll use these screws, drywall screws to go in here. I'll let them go in pretty deep and then I'll put some caulk over it. The reason I want screws with these hinges, 
this could pull off or I mean if you got kids man you know in and out in and out in and out and this eventually wear a little bit by putting these screws and not just finishing nails in it it gives it a lot more bite so uh, next step I'll put these screws in and then I'm gonna play with the adjustment a little bit and then finally nail it down all the way I like doing one more fit up play with it smack it around and see how it's closing and uh, another reason I go with screws you'll see this is Lowe's lumber right they go to the forest and pick out the most twisty trees they can any kind of gap I have we've got scorpions up here man they ain't cool so I've had them in the bed had them in a boot it, I ain't living like that so any kind of gap that we've got, I make sure it's closed. And then I'll go a uh, carpenter welding rod and sometimes use an expanding foam and fill it in and then finally put another trim piece in there. That way there's no air gap. I hate bugs. All right, so let's go to the next step. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna bore you with painting, but there's one piece that I'm lacking that I need. So you can't see it in the camera but this has a little bit of a bow in it. Walking to a wood door and a screen door, if you think about it, there's not enough matter, mass here to bring that door in. And there's a cure for that. And I looked all over Lowe's and it seems like during the COVID, they're not very helpful. It's like you got your typhoid Mary and they don't want to get near you. So uh, there's a cross truss I don't know what to call the thing. I'll show you a picture of it here. We'll go to the other door. But it tensions it and tightens that door together. And I like doing a crisscross. So we'll go look at the other door. All I got to do, you can see where I've trimmed it out now. It's all ready to be painted. I'm waiting for the caulk to dry. So let's go look at that other door. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, I know it's short and sweet and, and hanging up screen door seems pretty simple but and I, I found some things that just would have made it easier for me if i'd have known and it's always easier the second time you do it right so here's these bars i'm talking about they connect right here you get a pair of pliers or channel locks or whatever you want to use and tightens that door up and it squares it up and it'll shut a lot better it just and you can see where I forced that with my hand. It's because the humidity is 90% here today. But that, the crisscross like that, the V, makes it, that door will tighten up. I'm going to go online and try to find some. I'm, I'll be honest, I get frustrated when I go to a big box store anyway. You, you spend too much time in there. And if COVID's the deal, exposure to limiting it and getting in and getting out as your friend. So anyway, I appreciate you watching the, the channel and uh, us working on the cabin together. You can see how this thing turned out. And this is three years old now. So uh, got the other door on. It's going to help keep the cabin cooler and then to keep out the scorpions and everything else and snakes. And I can sleep at night a lot cooler. So uh, I appreciate you watching and uh, appreciate you being here. Take care and uh, God bless.